Attention viewer, you are watching the world's biggest Monster Truck Diecast YouTube channel. This is Monster Jam OCD. Well, hello everyone and welcome back to another Monster Jam OCD review video. Today we are taking a look at this brand new Hot Wheels All-Stars 5-pack Target exclusive for 2020. And as you can see, it comes with an exclusive Hot Wheels Camaro and some other new trucks that have been out before, but we're seeing them again. But this exclusive is only found in this 5-pack for this set. And as you guys know, I'm not a huge fan of this Camaro casting. In fact, it's my least favorite, but they did make it into an exclusive, so I have to review it. So I'm going to unbox this pack. We'll be right back. But before I do that, actually, and I didn't mean to rhyme with that, I want to show you guys the back of the box uh, right here to see the stats of the Camaro so you can see the rendering. So there it is. As you can see, we also have the Torque Terror, which you've seen before, Bigfoot, the normal body. There's the Camaro, the Hot Wheels Racing number one, and the Podium Crasher Demo Derby Edition. Okay, here they are out of the box we have the brand new hot wheels five pack exclusive camaro in yellow we have the hot wheels racing number one that we have seen many times in the past so there's that one we have the demo derby edition of torque terror so that's returning in this pack and we have the podium crasher demo derby as well uh, i'm not sure why they decided to do two demo derbies in an all-star pack but they have done so and then we have a true all-star here, which is this shiny brand new Bigfoot, which I did need to replace my older one, which had a paint chip. So this is nice to have a uh, very clean and uh, brand new for the display. So there is the Bigfoot. So we'll start reviewing really quickly with the Torque Terror. So you can see it has a graffiti style for its graphic choice. There's the Hot Wheels logo. And here are the tires, of course, with the Demo Derby style uh, painted differently and different colored rims on both uh, sets of tires and rims. We have a blue chassis, green roll cage, no grill printing, the roof, and then we have a 52, and this side different than the other side uh, for graphics. And that is the Torque Terror. We have the Podium Crasher here with a pink body trophy truck, and it is number 75 on the side with these checkers. We have these cool tires. I like this, especially this paint color choice. And then a teal roll cage with an orange chassis. The tailgate there and this side with the Hot Wheels logo 75 and on the roof again 75 with another Hot Wheels logo on the hood there and it has a blue windshield. So there is the Demo Derby Podium Crasher and also Hot Wheels Racing number one, the classic style graphics for that truck. There's the roof, blue windshield again and a pearlescent white body with a chrome chassis, a blue roll cage and white rims. So there's Hot Wheels Racing number one. And then of course the Bigfoot, which you just looked at with the uh, normal graphics that it would usually have and the front end there with this cool casting and the white rims, black roll cage and a chrome chassis. So there's Bigfoot and those are the four repeat trucks out of this five pack. And the main star here out of this five pack is of course the Hot Wheels Camaro. And comparing the Camaro to the last uh, three five pack exclusive we have received, which first up was the lion share, which is still my favorite of the five pack exclusives uh, right here. So it's the first one from 2019. We also had in 2019, the second mix um, or second five pack of that year was the Pure Muscle, another great model with the orange and pretty standard pickup truck style paint. So a very um, minimalistic body design, but very nice as well. But my favorite still is Lion Share. And then similar to Camaro, which was kind of a waste for an exclusive in my opinion, the Motosaurus exclusive uh, from 2020, I believe it was the spring release uh, five pack. This thing is just, it doesn't make sense to have as a five pack exclusive. Um, both the Camaro and the Motosaurus are very uh, poor choices for a five pack exclusive. I would have gone with some sort of Bigfoot if you really want to sell those units out. So the Motosaurus and the Camaro, very low on my list for any type of exclusive, really. Uh, Lion Share, Pure Muscle, more deserving of the spots. I know collectors really like the Pure Muscle, uh, but I did like the design for Lion Share. It actually looks really clean. So uh, these two are great. The other two, not so much. And I really don't understand why they would choose uh, Camaro as an exclusive, but I guess um, it's popular enough for them to choose to do so. 
So here is the new Camaro. We have had two other Camaros in the past now. Uh, we had the original orange Camaro uh, with the uh, burnt orange paint. We had the Chevy fully printed in grill. And there's the back there with the Hot Wheels license plate. We also had recently, as we call them, the Redline uh, O'Reilly Auto Parts exclusive trucks. We had the Borla Camaro which was actually a really nice Camaro design. Although the body is too small for the chassis, it's actually a really nice graphic choice design here for this truck. So there is the red line uh, Borla Camaro. And now we have this yellow and black scheme Camaro. So you can see on the roof here, we have a stripe going down the top hood and the back. We have a Hot Wheels logo, a dark gray windshield. This side has uh, some black and yellow with the Hot Wheels logo and the Monstrux logo. The tailgate here, uh, has some kind of uh, graphics. Oh, it says Hot Wheels graphics. So I'm assuming the graphics team gave themselves a shout out by putting that license plate there. Uh, no taillight printing, no detail like the others had, but it does have a black bumper. And this side is my body. Oh, it's loose. My body is loose on here. So I'll have to tighten that up later. Uh, but you can see this side here, same graphics. And the front grille is still painted in with the Chevy logo and the headlights and all the other details of the grate and all that stuff. And then it has a charcoal chrome, uh, not charcoal chrome, but charcoal colored uh, roll cage with a chrome chassis, a chrome beadlock choice, and then a um, metallic metal flake charcoal uh, rim color with the black tires. So there is the five pack, really a quick review of this set and very similar to other five packs where they always have one new truck and then the rest of the other four are repeats. Uh, again, Lion Share is my favorite of the five pack exclusive so far. And as we can see, there is a trend here happening. Every year we'll get two five packs, one in spring and one in fall. And this year, 2020 had the worst exclusives yet uh, in my opinion, at least, for the five packs. I really think Hot Wheels should be doing trucks that are more tailored towards uh, an exclusive, such as Bigfoot here, which could be used uh, to help sell a lot of those five packs. If they made an exclusive Bigfoot in a five pack with other repeats uh, around it for the repeats, it would still sell because Bigfoot sells. But this truck, um, I don't think it's gonna be a very popular choice. Camaro collectors probably will pick it up but other, I'm not sure if kids would really like this one, uh, especially with the other repeats. Bigfoot does help it a little bit in the pack, but most people do have this already. And then Motosaurus, these were peg warmers for uh, months and months now since this first came out. So I'm not very impressed by Motosaurus either, but I was impressed by Pure Muscle and I was impressed by Lion Share last year. So these two are still the best. 2019 had the best five packs, but uh, five pack exclusives, I should say, not the other choices, but these two, uh, not so much in my opinion. And that's just my personal take on it. So I hope you guys have enjoyed it. I wanna hear your guys' opinion on this pack and the exclusive that came with it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And until next time, this is Ronald Moss, Jim OCD, signing out.